when it comes to applied artificial intelligence then in my humble opinion function calling is one of the best thing out there function calling is also called as tool calling or tool usage in this video i will try to explain it very simple words as what exactly this llm function calling is and we will also see a hands on demo as how you can implement it easily function calling in ai simply means that you can call external apis or functions from within your ai powered application for example you have a finance related ai powered application which needs yesterday's sale data from salesforce for your own company now of course your llm or ai behind this application was only trained on past data which might be last year and even it was fine tuned on your own custom data last week it won't have the latest data so in order to get yesterday's sale data you would have to either fine tune the model or do the retrieval augmented generation both these techniques are time consuming and expensive processes and they really don't make sense here just for this bit of information and would you be doing this every day so every day you would get the data from salesforce pre process that data chunk it convert it into embeddings and put it in your vector database for rag or would you create a custom data set every day and then fine tune your model from the scratch that is impractical so what is the solution here and then again just think about it what if your ai application need up to date data from various other software too then you can already see that both fine tuning rag even prompt engineering won't work here that is where you need function calling all you need to do is to do a function call to sales for api endpoint to get the data from within your llm application we generate that function calling code or api with llm so whenever you hear or read that a model can do function calling what it means is that it can take a natural language query of user and convert it into a function call model doesn't call any function and then you can execute that function call to your api endpoint to get the data and give it to llm as additional context and get more grounded latest response as per your own application requirement another feature of function calling is the standardization of information as functions always need specific parameters and they produce the standard output always now let me show you how you can implement this function calling from within your application i will be using gorilla's api i have covered gorilla previously on my channel so if you are looking to get more information on gorilla please search my channel but at a very high level what gorilla does is um it's a great project from uc berkeley and it provides you a free api through which you can do a lot of things and one of those things is to produce a function call it has its own open source uh, function calling models which you can host locally or you can simply use their api endpoint which we will be using in this video to get the function calling facility now let me take you to my code so let me first walk you through this code to understand it better and then i will run it this is my local system environment and i am in the vs code editor i already have installed openai so if you don't have it make sure that you install openai by doing pip install and then for in order to use this gorilla api you need to have this specific version openai 0.28.1 i already have installed it if you want to use this then it won't work unfortunately but i think as per their github uh, github repo they are working on it okay so that is installed now let's go through the code line number 1 we are simply importing openai and then we are defining this gorilla response function now what is happening here is this function is receiving a prompt which will be passed by user then this is the model for from gorilla the open functions word that returns a function call or basically a function name with its parameter and then we are also passing it function for the open api key you don't need it all just put empty here 
and then this is the endpoint of our API base for this uh, Gorilla's function, which is hosted at Berkeley. So really, hats off to Berkeley for providing this for free. And then just on the similar pattern, it is using the OpenAI's get completion function in order to create the function call. So we are passing it a temperature. We are just being very deterministic here. 0.0, .0 it, it will always return the same. That is what we want from function. And this is a function which we are passing, which I will sh show you shortly. Now here, what we are doing, we are just, our query is what is the weather in Sydney. And then this is a function which we have defined or which any of the external API has defined and the same function we are defining here. We are giving it a name that cur get current weather. And then this is the description that the description tells the LLM that, okay, just get the current weather in a given location. And then this is the location type is string and bit of a description. And then what is the unit? And all of these stuff will vary from function to function because different functions have different parameters and we will also see another example too but for the get weather get current weather one this is what is required now here we are just calling this get gorilla response with our prompt which is let me go up prompt or query is what is the weather in sydney or for function i'm just passing this function all of it and then all of it goes into this get gorilla response prompt the function with the help of this model it runs this function and it will return us a function call let me show you it so let me make this terminal a bit bigger and then i'm going to call it it is simply a python code so function calling gorilla dot py let's wait there you go you see we got this function call the model has returned us this get current weather location is sydney new south wales and it has just put new south wales by itself that is intelligence so let me scroll up you see this is a function get current weather and that is what it has returned here get current weather and we have told it the location and then because the sydney was specified in our prompt so it has replaced the sydney here in the location now by so you see this llm hasn't returned us the weather so this is a very important difference it has just returned us the function call now within your application you need to make this function call to your external ip to get the weather now let me show you where another example where i will also be making this function call from the code let me go to my another uh, tab now look at this function first again i'm importing openai then i have defined my own function which is simple and external function or you can define anything here but just for the sake of completion i'm taking it as an external function so what this function does is it, it receives the name of the beach and location of the beach and then it returns me the data that whether that beach is patrolled or it is unpatrolled by the lifeguards so these are just static values so if bondi is in the name then it is patrolled if marley is in the name then that beach is unpatrolled and if if it doesn't find it it will say beach not found so this is our external function and this is what uh, we will be calling after the LLM generates a function call. Now, this is the same function which we are using uh, or reusing. It is not dependent on any function. All it is doing is it is receiving user's query, the model, and the function. And what is a function? Function is what we define ourselves. And this is a function we are defining. And this function should be the same as we have provided above, which is a get beach patrol info. I go at the top this is get beach patrol info it is, uh, takes name and location as parameter let's go back you see this is the name on line 34 and this is the location on line 38 and i have told it that it is a string both of them are the string and what exactly they are and in the description i have told it that get name and location of beach from the body of the input text and what is the input text I think I have defined it below. So this is the input text. 
So I've given it two beaches, beach one description, which is just a little that Bondi beach is an iconic destination located in Sydney and all that stuff. And beach two is a Marley beach. It is also in the southern Sydney in Royal National Park. And I haven't given it any patrol or unpatrol info in this text. That info is in our get beach patrol info function. So I have defined these two beaches and I have put all both of these in the array. Now I'm looping through this array in line number 59 and I'm calling this get gorilla response one by one with, with both of these beaches. So first Bondi beach, then the Marley beach and for function, I'm just calling it beach custom function. So what would happen is it is going to return me this function and then I'm calling this function. Let me also maybe print this so that you would know what is happening. Let me first clear the screen. And calling and you see, there you go. So first, it uh, when it called this get gorilla response in line number sixty, that produced a function call like this. Then we evaluated this function call or invoked this function call in line number sixty three that produced the actual response you see so user is providing a free flowing natural uh, language text llm converted it into a function call and we uh, invoked that function call to our own external api which returned us the response same goes for marley it has told us the where marley is and whether it is patrolled or unpatrolled now just think about it you might have a lot of legacy applications in your own environment in your own company and which are producing data maybe that is a marketing data sales data uh, maybe call center data or whatever the sky is the limit so what you can do here is you can embed or intelligify those application by integrating it with this api call or function calling with any llm and if you think about if you just notice i haven't specified any api key it is all free courtesy to berkeley uc and by the way same function calling facility is available from openai's gpt4 and other gpt models plus it is also available from uh, anthropic uh, models from even from mistral and now there are heaps of other models which uh, provide you the same functionality if you want to take away one thing from this that function calling doesn't mean that you just ask uh, the model that get me the weather of sydney and it will give you the weather of sydney no it will provide you a function call or tool call and you have to make that tool call or function call in order to get the exact data and then you can use it however you like that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it I will drop the this code in my blog and I will put the link in beauty's description. Play around it and let me know how you go. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.